You have to understand. Everything was wonderful. I was creating the future. Metal dogs that didn't poop. I even cured walking. Then I invented Globotron, which would destroy anyone found walking. That's when it happened. Megatech. Crazy, they said. How is that even profitable, they said. And that's when they fired me. Me, Dr. X. Me, the inventor of their precious city. Their precious city. Well, I have one last invention for them. Oh, I know they'll love him. I call him Tom. <laughs> So this is A Virus Named Tom, which is an indie puzzle game by Misfits Attic, where your main objective is to sneak into machines that some corporation has made and... Fuck shit up. Pretty much fuck shit up, yeah. Virus. <laughs> Fun times. So I've already made a dog explode or something, and now I'm destroying a teleporter. To murder people. It's all good fun. It is all good fun when you're a little virus named Tom. Psychotic. So you can see here like the main game screen. I think everyone's played this sort of game where you know you've got to connect pipes to make water flow or in this case yeah. connect circuitry to complete the circuit. To spread the virus. Yep. Yeah. And fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> This is single player, yeah? Yeah, this is the single player. There is co-op campaign as well, and a co-op versus mode, which we'll be looking at a little later on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you enjoy that cutscene? Uh, I just love them. It's very well drawn, and I like the voice acting. Yeah, yeah it's quite eccentric and pretty fun. It's probably the highlight of the game for me. Yeah, it is one of these games where you just don't want to skip any cutscenes because they are yeah. so good. Which doesn't happen often for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty immense. And gameplay-wise, the game, you know, it's the same thing you're doing on most levels, but they do well at introducing new like mechanics to mm. keep Mixed it interesting. It yeah. Mm. It, it'll have you getting a bit upset sometimes, like, you can see here on this level, I'm clearly struggling, I'm confused, and then it it clicks and it makes you feel like an idiot. Mm. <laughs> it's good fun. Um, this is the co-op, so there is f up to four player co-op, but unfortunately at the moment it is only on one computer. So yeah. you either have to have Xbox controllers or all fit onto a keyboard. <laughs> no, you can have up to three players playing off one keyboard, I believe. Someone's gonna have to sit on someone else. We played this on one keyboard with two of us and it was a little awkward. So like, how many levels are there and what can you do after you finish the game? Um, there's 50 levels on single player and then there's another 50 levels on co-op which are slightly different and introduce a few new mechanics such as like force fields that mean you know you've got a set amount of work to do each but after you've completed it I mean there is medals that you get at the end of each round so you can obviously get you know your gold and your silver yeah. and whatever and I guess there's the personal challenge of getting gold, gold and everything. on everything and getting a good score I mean you could play it like competitively with your friends you know who's got yeah. the best score sort of thing. Me. But you just show off your times and stuff on YouTube. <laughs> For me, mm. it never got that competitive. It's just good fun. What happens if you lose? Um, so the energy runs out. Yeah, energy at the top. And yeah, you obviously lose that from hitting a spider, as you just saw. All right. And yeah, I think you just restart the level, really. But one cool thing is they give you skip tokens every now and again. Uh, for completing levels. So if you do find a level that's too overwhelming, you can just use one of your skip tokens and skip it. Yeah, just get past it. Which... That's always nice because mm. there's always that one level that pisses you off. Yeah, so that much. you just have no idea. It's never about... the last level. It's no. always like three quarters of the way through. It's impossible. <laughs> mm. That's my theory. Yeah. That 
thankfully didn't happen too much. Managed to figure out a good majority of them. So what I'm about to show you now is the versus mode. Right. And obviously there you can see you can have four players, but we only had the two of us. Yeah. And with two of us, I don't know, it didn't blow me away. It felt somewhat boring. Yeah. Mm. So you preferred co-op? Definitely co-op was where the game stood out to me as being fun. Versus was just an additional feature that maybe could be fun if you had the four of you. But yeah, there's a bit more going on. Yeah, just well, make it a bit hectic. The major like the idea of this is to capture big areas, and the one with the biggest area wins. You shoot people with your little bombs that you'd normally use on spiders to make them lose their areas, just stuff like that. But it was too slow paced with two of us. Yeah, you can I mean, see we're just dodging everything quite happily and just collecting the land. Yeah, it's really who gets that first big thing first. Chunk, yeah. So we should say that this game is six ninety nine in British pounds and ten dollars in the British US. Pounds. Yes, it is on sale for the first week of release. So that'll end on the eighth of August, twenty twelve. Mm. Case you're watching right now, this guys. in the future, but if you're going to play the game for co-op, I definitely recommend it. And if you're a fun. partner, get cozy with them on the chair. <laughs> Share a <laughs> keyboard. keyboard. <laughs> oh, get in there.